BuzzFeed is going to use ChatGPT Creator uh, OpenAI to help create quizzes and other content. This was a big story uh, breaking just as we were finishing our broadcast from yesterday. Uh, listen, <laughs> this thing is infiltrating everything. ChatGPT. Like the number of people reaching out to me, Will. This topic conversation. I was playing hockey last night. We we're standing around in the park so a lot. What's this uh, chatting? GPT. Oh that my we're goodness gracious, man! Here. This has taken over, and it is widespread, and it is viral. It, like I said to you, it reminds me of social media when social media started to come out. Hey, what are you? Uh, what's this Facebook over here, or even MySpace or whatever? Like I don't know how early we are right now, but. I think the idea of AI in general. I just know that the technology has been being worked on for a while, but we seem to hit have hit some critical point in functionality and public awareness and virality mm. that it's just wildfire at the moment. And you really try to catch and capture those things, which is obviously what Microsoft is trying to do at the moment, because they just don't happen that frequently that you have the public so engrossed in a particular yeah. topic all at once. And guys like us talking about it, frequently all at once and all the implications all at once it just doesn't happen uh very often it also is a very interesting topic to talk about it absolutely is but it was prior to chat gpt too uh -huh. right there were all plenty of people working on this stuff prior to that but it it like has to hit some sort of like critical nodes yeah and some sort of general uh familiarity for it to seem useful across the board, for, for it to seem like a thing that you have to know about in the general yeah. public. Along with like image AI as well. It's all happening at the same time. Yeah. And so it's overwhelming and, and people are really, they don't, people don't want to be caught in the FOMO moment. So they're like, tell me about it because I've heard the keywords. So now I need to know. Well, anyway, BuzzFeed is doing kind of doing the same thing. And I think that their stock price benefited, which was a little odd. Because you were, I mean, your initial reaction that this was a bad thing, or maybe not a bad thing, but you were like, you were assuming that people would be apprehensive about it. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't look to be the case based on the trading. Jeez. People love wow. it. And so BuzzFeed goes in there and says, yeah, they, forget about it. AI will lay everybody off. <laughs> we're going to, oh, we're going to be so profitable. And people are like, let me get some of that. I mean, they didn't say that. They said, oh no, humans are still going to interact. It's like, okay, bud. All right, bud, you say that for now, but like wait till these things are crushing. Wait till the performance on these articles is, and the odd thing is it's constantly training us. We are training it, but it's also training us when you start thinking about this stuff. And so to a point where we start to seek out those style of interactions uh -huh. that are so perfect for us. It's a double training component to it where we become... Like our taste is in in ways uh, not manipulated but altered possibly mm. by consistent engagement with these systems. Like when you think about what an algorithm uh, feeds you, mm. how it gets to know you, the personalization capabilities of an AI versus a human who's kind of just like poking and prodding and guessing and also based on experience but maybe doesn't know you as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe is lacking some inputs. So BuzzFeed, I guess, I guess the market seems to like it. It remains to be seen what the public's going to think about it. Mm -hmm. But they're going to have ChatGPT uh, creating content for BuzzFeed. And they say right now it's going to be mostly ideas based and for quizzes and things like that. But who knows? The, who knows? Who knows the level at which it's going to get integrated?